the show is a real combo platter. It's it's natural wonders that it's nature. It's disgusting, but it's nature, or it's weird, but it's nature. Yeah. So again, we're not faking anything. A lizard spits acidic blood out of its eye. You know. I'm like, I, you know, we didn't, we didn't make that up. Is there anything, uh, Bruce, that you that you think you could do that would get you on the show? No, very few things, because I have stunt guys for, like, real <laughs> skills. Yeah. You know, throw yourself down these stairs. I'm not going to do that. Get the stunt guy. Get in there, man. Be a hero. <laughs> You're giving guys jobs. Hell yeah. Raisho Vezilev, best stunt guy on the planet. He doubled me for Ash vs. Evil Dead. Oh, nice. For three seasons. And we beat the shit out of that guy. <laughs> I'd hear across the stage, smash, crash, because they'd be shooting with a whole separate stunt unit. Right. And I'd see him come limping away from the set. I'm going, Rachel, how'd it go? He'd go, fuck this shit, boss. <laughs> but he would always say boss, so it was okay. <laughs> but great stunt guys. Stunt guys are supposed to make you look cool. Right. They got to move good, too. That's a, You can always get a big dope to throw himself into a wall. But how do they move? Do they move like you at all? <laughs> right? Yeah. It's a finesse. finesse. Yeah. We have very talented producers who go through a lot of footage. This is like a lot of footage to yeah. find these 60 stories. So to get 60, how many did they look at? I don't. I, there's not enough hours in the day to comb through that footage. So they found a lot of good stuff, I thought. You know, so tone was just important to me. Yeah. How we put it together, how we treat these people. You know. Great. So that must be a nice gig then, compared to like when you started back in the day on Evil Dead where you're, you know, getting put through the ringer. Now you can just come in and be the host and be treated well. Yes, sir. That's how it works. If you stay around for 40 years, you get to do stuff like that. <laughs> That's how it works. You're starting to understand how it works around here now. Well, this is why we're talking to you. We want to know these things. Yeah. Yeah. I'm done lying on cellar floors covered in blood. I'm good. <laughs> I want to be a host looking at teleprompter. Nice. Yeah. Would you do a, like a uh, like a game show or something then? Yeah, why not? I'm entering the Wink Martindale phase of my career. <laughs> sure, I play crooked politicians and gym teachers. A writer who won't let you change his words is a d bag, in my opinion. Love it. Do you have you got to be a great writer to pull that shit. Yeah, no, it's. Fantastic. Don't change my words, really. How good are your words? They better be amazing, because most writers don't even say the words out loud. They say it in their little head in their room, in their apartment. Sounds great in their head. Where do you say it? Where do you say it out loud? Because writers are writing to an effect. But the actual, where the rubber meets the road is where we have to then deliver it. And sometimes they'll be on set and sometimes they're smart enough to go, yeah, boy, whew, let's fix that. Or the ones who are too insecure will go, no, can you please try and do it how it's written? Even though they know it sounds like crap. It's just inexperience. That, well, that brings up a, a, something I was thinking about with Ripley's then, because because it's more of just, you know, a hosting gig, and it's you, it's a little bit different than... It's not just a hosting Sorry. gig, sir. It's I, you're right. Thread. I'm the thread. I apologize. I'm the glue of the show. 100%. I'm, I'm poured all over the show. There's no show without you. I, oh, there would be. It would just be a different kind of show. No, it it's good. Be, it would be an unfortunate lesser. scenario. Yeah. But as as the host, and you know, in talking about scripting and everything like that, so like, with with your hosting duties, were you heavily scripted, not scripted? Like yeah, we were scripted, yeah. Yeah. And then the trick is to just uh, put it in your own words, right? Because I never want to change the intent of the story. Because everyone has a story that you tell. Mm. You tell their backstory. It just there's ways that words can tumble out of your mouth a little easier. That's all. Right. And a lot of times on TV shows, I tell writers all the time, look, I don't want to change your plot. I know Colonel Green has to get to, to Kenworth Street at 9 o'clock with the Glock in the green van, but do I have to spew this shit out? Like, facts are the worst. Right. Think of all the facts. Yeah. you got to meet Colonel Jenkins at 9 o'clock with the Glocks at the Brown Building with the thing and the thing and the thing. It's like, you're doomed. Now you're just remembering shit randomly. That's the worst dialogue. Back and forth dialogue is easy. Right. Hi Ken, how you doing? Oh fine, how you doing? Oh no problem, how are you doing? You can kind of like you get into a through. rhythm and you you figure out what we're talking about. That's easy. 
Because yeah, even if you miss a line, you could still kind but of... But writers, lazy writers, state the plot. And you watch any opening of any Marvel movie. Colonel Jenkins was using his power that he gained through this and that. And therefore, he that's how he found it. Fourteen years later, he found out that he... Ugh, I want to hang myself. Come on. Show me. Don't tell me. Look, I live in the world of reality. I make my job off of fantasy. But I never play any fantastic... Who would win in a fight, dot, dot, dot? It's impossible to play that game. And me, if I mention... Here's the thing. You want to know why I don't want to play any superhero? Yeah. The costumes. You don't like the costumes? No actor has liked the Batman costume. They must have. They probably have Batman Anonymous meetings about how they went. They got P PTSD from wearing that stupid costume. You can't urinate in for eight hours. You want that? No. My my bladder is not interested in that job. In in a Spider-Man movie, name how many shots. As full Spider-Man, yeah. head to toe Spider-Man. How many times is Toby head to toe Toby? He's close up Toby. Yeah. He's medium shot Toby. He's not head to toe Toby. That's Digiman. Why are the children of today so craved for entertainment that they must have such massive amounts of fantasy, of fantasy shoved down their throat? What is the need for escape? Even though I'm making money off of it. What does that need? It's even greater now than it's ever been. Oh, yeah. I, I think, though, it has a lot to do, though, with attention spans, right? Like, you know, lots of, lots of, lots of, like, yeah. <laughs> I think directors should be more respectful to the material to make their style slave to the material. Watch A Simple Plan, directed by Sam Raimi. Yeah. You'd never know it was directed by him if you, if you didn't see right. it. Stylistically, he'll, he'll let... Bridget Fonda and Bill Paxton talk at a dinner table for a couple of minutes. No cuts. It's just two actors talking because it's a simple plan. The whole movie starts real simple. And then as it gets more complicated, the photography gets more complicated. It's really amazing.